So, fair warning, we uh, haven't played this game before, so... Yeah, uh, none of yeah. us have played this, and we don't know what's going on. This music. It is quite good, actually. The music. <laughs> what's that muscle pose Holly's doing? I'm sure there's other ways to display this, but um, I don't know that yet. I don't know the different ways. So, so he just just to oh, note, um, this is the same as the GBA game where they actually captured the Anika first, as you can tell from the little cutscenes going on here. That's so weird. Um, which is very strange. So they like have handcuffs. Yeah, and the frog are like, Oy! and then there's what? Jaller <laughs> cut out. Oh, oh, oh. No, wait, Mask of that's, Light Jaller. That's literally from the Mask of Light. What the hell? And then he, he jumps. Light. He just jumps into some energized protodermal and turns it's, into it's a Jaller. It's the same thing as with Balta in the yeah. Game, yeah. game Boy. Except what the heck? Brown Jaller or something. And he just jumps into the into the he thing just, because he's depressed. <laughs> He's depressed, like, so he jumps oh, right into the Ooh. energized protodermis. This? Ooh. This title screen. Yeah, like this title screen is That's really cool. pretty good. Oh man, he's pointing his gun at you because he's going to shoot you. <laughs> yeah, I like the little, I like the shading on this. Okay, I um, don't know where any of these buttons on the, um, on the actual thing are, so I'm just so gonna go with this. What's 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 key view? Because I don't know. Rockstar in the chat. Why does the PC version have the worst presentation out of all of them? I don't know. There's also extras. What do we get? Room translator. translator. What's this? Oh, so like you can. There are extras. What? I don't know what's going on here. Really. I can't. Oh, I maybe. Can. So you oh, gotta you find the letter, letter oh. and then you gotta spell things out, and you can trade in okay. the letters. That's for kind of cool. Neat. Yeah, that's like cheat codes, but you unlock them instead of uh, yeah. just trying to know what they are. Ooh. I mean, it's the same thing in the GBA version, yeah. but that's a cool way to do I it. Sky oh, like the Oh, and you got the you 3D, like 3D Voyanui, yeah. which is really neat. I don't think we've seen that anywhere else. It it's just like 2D. It zooms around and you click the different maps. Snake's Gate. He's, he is the snake, as they say. Snake. The air above Voyanui's mountain range swirls with anger. Ancient ruins line Thank the you. path to a huge coliseum. Beyond that, the air Baraka, Zaktan, is waiting to blow away all who invade his sky Zaktan. Fortress. It's all caps. Yeah, but this does uh, actually right. look pretty cool. Okay, let's go. I know gameplay-wise, like, look at this. Oh yeah, so you do have to click and drag. Let's see, what are the buttons here? I don't know exactly what this is going on. <laughs> um, I don't know that how to do it. That seems weird anymore. even for a DS game. Yeah. I know that that's the way that some DS like shooters worked, where it's like you scroll on the touch screen to move around. I mm -hmm. think Kid Icarus Uprising did that. I don't know. What you're shooters like. on Nintendo consoles oh, don't no. always coming. work all the all that well. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it to E view. Right off the bat, I'm, I'm always confused. <laughs> is is B the bottom button on on Nintendo consoles? Yes. Okay, and then A is the left or right? Is the right. Okay, so uh, that his should... event says Bionicle Doom mod be like... Yeah, pretty much at this point. <laughs> oh no, hold on. Oh. Ooh, shoot them. Oh, so I have this, uh, I ha well, a little, yeah. I do have this a uh, little bit left. Down was going <laughs> left, so... <laughs> I... Some bio fan. Well, they don't call it the Island of Doom for nothing. Okay, so up and down All is right. going left and right now. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, up and down is inverted. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That might be an issue, like... Okay. Cool. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's some weird sound effects. Yeah. You got a Bionicle FPS. Oh. Are you just, like, talking about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, no drama. Let me actually see if there's like a filter as well to put on this. In the this event says topic: Bionicle themed ice cream flavors. Uh, well, obviously, screen. obviously, there's gonna be one that's called antidermis. Um, I too. don't know what it would taste like, but probably it would bad. be green, and by the name, it would probably taste something like skin. <laughs> which that's not. Is a not great a great flavor. idea. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like, wait, wait, what's Ooh, the Berry Blitz. That sounds good, Cinemigger. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Is that like, like, a, a, like, a, like an actual Bionicle set? Let's see. Sort of. Yeah. It's like a box. Yeah. 
And there's a visitor the shooting rings at me. Oh, he's shooting spinners. That's actually <laughs> really cool. Oh, uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, you got a Still hand. Building things. Oh, no. So oh. Says, oh, That's so what he said. Says, I want Coma Torrent to help out in making ice cream. No, I, <laughs> Leon was me. Fendi McGear says the energized port of Dreamers flavor has live electric current running through it. <laughs> Transform your taste buds. I love it, Fendi McGear. Transform it or destroy. <laughs> it tastes Blatter. like licking a battery. Oh, man. Uh, that's, that's great. So what's that thing there? Uh, this is another building thing, like from the PC version. Oh, yeah. but Whoa, you know, any so uh, wow, that looks kind of weird. It's like a kneeling for an Dollar. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's interesting oh. how similar this is to the Game Boy Advance one, despite being mm -hmm. completely different gameplay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, again, it's like the the execution is completely different, but the the. Like, the game bible is like the same that's actually really cool you don't see that sort of thing outside of like game jam yeah it's very you, specific yeah you don't see that anymore it's it's kind of unfortunate because like usually it's her console thing are pretty identical all, all the way all the way along oh wow okay it's chugging now yeah i wonder if that was maybe the settings i adjusted <laughs> some bio fan yeah, jeez your arms are so thin like the arms are so thin what are you hose ricks <laughs> Also, yeah. the, the level design here is actually pretty good too, because I just uh, see that's where I came from. Oh, oh wait, yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a hexagon. Can I grab that? I don't know if there's like um, a button to do that with. Bird noise. I think, I think that's the thing you need to come back for. Also, there's like a little icon in the bottom left, like a charge thing. I think yeah. I built up, but I don't know exactly what I was charging. Uh, the auto aim is actually quite nice on this. Interesting. <laughs> He's stuck up there. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to come down. And there's also something over here, like this. This looks like I should be able to jump. Oh, there's a rock sheet. I think you can jump. Uh, I'm gonna look at the controllers. I don't know how. Hold on. Uh, HNL says, wait, this doesn't look like Bionicle Heroes GBA. <laughs> Nightman says, strong Jedi Knight Academy vibes. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Jump. It says, it still oh, says the touch screen jump is jump. Is, just tap the touch screen. So, oh, okay. Oh. Now it's working. So it's a little weird to have to click to, to jump, but uh, I guess yeah, that's just, you know, that's built in. Uh, so mm. Biofan asks, if a Team Kenohi offices would be built, what would it look like and where would it be located? I mean, there's a difference between a, a realistically and our dream office, right? So yeah. <laughs> uh, our dream office would obviously be on a tropical island. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> with I mean... an active volcano and a mountaintop and a desert on one end. Uh, a one-to-one -one and a massive cave network to explore, which our offices would be located inside. But realistically, I don't know. Realistically, it's, it's, just like realistically there's no office. fun. Realistically, <laughs> like somewhere kind of small that has uh, low real estate prices. So not like yeah. any Chicago or any uh, any New York or anything. We could kind set it big. up in Denmark. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Too close to LEGO HQ. Oh, hey, <laughs> Not that it would oh. matter. Whoa, okay, I have a new <laughs> weapon. Whoa, it's like a oh, one-shot okay. sort of thing. Okay, like, this um, is really cool. Oh, look at the freaking bottom bit. Ah. Oh, yeah. This is really oh, cool. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, so it's like a neutral... It's like a neutral, neutral toe. That's weird. That's interesting. And then you get Kongu. So I assume That's... what just happened is I saved Kongu. So now I get you to play as him. Yeah. Right. I, I don't know. Oh, wow, this looks really good. It does. I'm surprised that you don't hear about this one as much. I do remember people talking about this and saying like, Oh yeah, that's my favorite kind of heroes. Mm -hmm. It makes sense it makes why. Sense. First impressions yeah. make it yeah. really cool. Like, Yeah. Whoa, did you so see those just... like hands? Hand door? Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, they, they do flip out. But... Yeah, like a Zectan. A Zectan head. What is and that? Then... Is that the item? Yeah, that's just the little end oh, point. Oh, whoa, that is a cool That's a really render. cool render, yeah. <laughs> This is, is a this is a very cool game so far. They just yeah. straight up say Lego pieces. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh <laughs> whoa! This ran Toa of normal. Listen to that music. That's some bopping music. Yeah. Cool. This is yeah. like perfect yeah. in music for like 2006. It's 
edgy, mm -hmm. but not too edgy to where it's like annoying. It's honestly like all the menus and stuff really hit that 06 vibe. Absolutely. Dude. Like definitely even better than 06, I would think. Like this is <laughs> this is like what 06 was trying to be. This does 06 better than 06. Yeah, it does. It really does so far. So what are the different unlockables? Balloons and confetti. <laughs> Animal farm, Animal friendly farm. farm animals for your Xamar Oh my tree. gosh. Oh, the wow. chicken gun again. Yeah, they did the chicken gun. Human voice play the same what? sounds but different. The disco craze, disco lights, and groovy beats. <laughs> uh, that's really cool. All of these are really cool. I'm not going to spoil too many. Uh, this one we might need to 100% uh, as well. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. We'll, we'll yeah, see. I think it's so too. Okay, so the, the Coliseum. Coliseum. Enter the ruins of the Coliseum, where it is said a secret entrance to the Sky Fortress can be found. It's like an Aztec pyramid yeah. looking thing. It's weird to see like that in front of it, like some bow rock in front of that. This but looks really cool, I gotta say. It really does, and the music is fantastic so far. Gotta it's gonna be so this. underwhelming when we finish this. <laughs> <and go laughs> yeah, we really should have done this one last time. It's, 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 it's Kong, but it also, you pick it up the Miru, so. Oh yeah, Are that's true. Kongu? That was weird. I, I, did, oh. I picked up the Miru and now I'm Kongu. I mean, at, least, because... at least they did it better than the GBA one to where I'm actually true. the correct Toa. Yeah, true, true. Although you're still not because your your white chowler well, morphed yes, into yeah. neutral Toa, yeah. morphed into Kongo. I mean, it's the same thing as PC heroes, where it's like you pick up the masks and then you become that person. Yeah, yeah. Wait, look at the wall. Are those? So you have the hexagons. Oh, well, it's like it. it's like. Oh no, it's holes. Hex it's all, yeah, it's more all hexagons. hexagons. See, that's like a very, very 2006 thing. It was like hexagons yeah. were their thing, man. They're like bees or something. Yeah. Cinemaker <laughs> says, if you're Jaller, why are you white? Oh my god, Kongu, you can't just ask someone why they're white. <laughs> that intro cutscene is so weird. Like, it's not even, it's Mask of Light Jaller. Yeah, it's it's literally cut out Mask of Light Jaller, and then the rest of the game is so good. Yeah. I mean, at least so far. For all we know, this yeah. might be a Maze of Shadows situation. Yeah, I don't want to like... speak too soon because it could become a Maze of Shadows situation, but so far, amazing uh, first impressions. Even like oh, the music. Like the music. Wait, yeah. hold on. Listen to this. I feel like hold on i gotta uh i gotta do something here this, i i rarely do this but <laughs> i only do this in games where i know the music's gonna be good uh his fan says someone had a headcanon that the games were just poor retellings of the story of amatorn i do believe we discussed that last time yeah. it yeah. does work yeah it does really work <laughs> and it's like oh yeah and then uh the mystery toa he came in and he uh, and he saved the rest of the Toa by morphing into them, by collecting their masks. And no, it was actually the Toa Nuva uh, who saved them. And it was the Toa Nika were the ones that got captured, because they're yeah. the new ones, you know? We don't want to get Whoa. the... No, 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 that's, a, no that's, that's telling me that I'm on top of a build thing. Also, that little thing, whenever they spawn, that little uh, vignette mm -hmm. around them, reminds me 100% of Masquerade. Because remember, That's like, true. when he stabs the ground, and it's yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very mm -hmm. hard weapon to use. It's, it requires precision. Can't wait till I get my shotgun. I assume is probably a thing. Oh, wow, okay, oh, that whoa. did that. Oh, you have to be a neutral Toa. Oh, oh the only neutral Toa can build stuff. That's weird. I mean, at least it's not. Oh, at least it's not hooky. You do have really thin arms. <laughs> Finnegar <laughs> says head cannon. The silver toy is good guy 06. <laughs> and also Samuel asks, does the bar at the top mean it's time for hero mode? I don't know. I, I don't know, know what yeah. that is, and I can't tell how to trigger it. Did I click on it? Oh, yep, it is. Oh, it is hero Let's mode. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't realize. Quick. Oh wow, this is really good oh, music yeah. though. <laughs> Let's go, quick. This looks like the place where you would need hero mode. Come on! This is just the I triggered it way too soon. But you're new, eh? Like, you the ground that can rise up? Huh. It really is. Oh, the music, though. Ah. Oh. I'm not sure if I like this hero mode theme that more oh, and it or just less straight than up the, ends. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that hero mode music more or less than the, um... I mean, the PC, PC one here. is very, very iconic, but this one is very, Ooh. very bopping. Oh, no, At no, least this one be. has the decency to let you activate it whenever, whenever you, you want. want. Yeah. 
instead of just doing it. I mean, but it does lead to some confusion, like with new players, like I just had. Agent Arrow yeah. says that this hero mode is executed so much better, and I, I, I agree. agree with like the option to toggle it. That was the only thing the PC one needed, really. And having it on a timer so that music doesn't infinitely loop. Yeah. The only thing I probably would have done is have it drain your pieces, because like at the bottom, it's like your score. I would actually have it drained it a little bit, so it's like uh, it, there's a slight you, consequence to using it, but you get like super buffed health and super buffed damage, that, would be great. That's an interesting point. Yeah, I can see that working. And then at the end, obviously with your part count, it just totals the amount that you actually collected. Oh, okay, Lurking Carrier presented a cool idea. What if the Unknown Matoran was mutated into one of Kraka's species? So it's like a shapeshifter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a way that's to explain it. I'm almost dead. <laughs> Wait, hold on, there's a, there's a, this there's little a thing of that over there. No. Uh, yeah. This reminds me of the like arena stages from GBA. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So like the second level here is basically just the arena stage. Just this one is executed so much better than all the other ones though so far. Oh, and it's uh, rumbling oh. while they go down. Ugh. Again. I couldn't get that letter though. I wonder if there was actually like a way to jump up and get That's, those. I like how Kangu is ready to punch you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, rank toe up. I wonder what the other ranks are. Matoran, Matanui. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with hero mode and PC version is that it was just a key. It's needed to open the way mm -hmm. or hurt bosses. It's, it isn't really a proper gameplay mechanic. Yeah. That's also, true. Also, Finny Migure very correctly uh, reenacts the hero mode from the PC version. And he says, dun 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 Yeah. Yeah. That one. <laughs> and I, I like how I can... Like the Harry Potter theme. Well, yeah, but I like how I can read that exactly for what he means without right. even knowing the context. So I, it's I, like... I, oh, yeah, I get I, it. I just know. get in the mood to cast some magic out of it. Seek out the Coliseum's Reservoir. The Sky Fortress's entrance can be reached from there. You're a, you're a hero, Harry. <laughs> I, I, I feel... I know a hero, Harry. <laughs> This Let's music, go. it's too, the music is too good to be to switch from the <laughs> from to switch from the menus. It's like I want to keep I want to keep sitting on the menus just because of how cool the music is. If I had this game as a kid, I would be like all into it. I would I would play this entire thing one day. I'm kind of tempted to like get maybe this like for the DS or ordered off eBay or something and just this play this. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. Twenty minute gear. You guys are emulating this. I'm calling Greg. He won't care. <laughs> <laughs> be like, okay, whatever. A lot of people do that. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it was a trap. a trap. I, I oh, like no. his, I like his run animation. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like a regular the, run. Too often. Oh, uh, the sideways no. flying. There's flying sideways. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Come here, boys. And jump Ooh. up to your level. Got him. Nice. The, that, Come on, that's boys. Cool. Let's go. Ready for this your game's mode. Really T, I believe, because it's a first-person shooter, yeah. not third-person. Yeah. Which honestly, it feels like it's very T. Yeah. Which is kind of strange that third person makes it not T. I guess because you can see like the person and you're not doing it yourself, I guess. I don't know. Thank you, ESRB. I guess because it's, it's too immersive when you're in the first Boxer person. says the Viserac legs are wrong, but everything else is that accurate. Let's see. Let's see him up close. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> let's, 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 let's look at him up close. Shoots him in the face. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so when, when do you think I should activate my hero mode? Um, probably when next time you get like a big hallway of enemies. Kura, the water rock sheet. Oh, what the heck was that? It's just the explosion. Oh, it was just you down. walking into the wall. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it is rather jarring. Oh yeah, hero mode. Okay, let's go. Ooh, music. Yeah! <laughs> it is really good though. <laughs> He's running in place. <laughs> Come on, die! Why is he not dying? I think he's actually dead, but that's a bug. Yeah, it looks yeah, like he's dead. Not supposed to happen. Yeah, he's dead. See. Well, well, now I can fully appreciate the set accuracy. Oh yeah. <laughs> and like the look at them. They use the hero's arms. Yeah, I mean, considering a lot of it had to be sort of merged together because of the limited space, it does look really good for what it is. Like the his his hands are just like you know it, one thing. So yeah. the low poly version actually looks really neat. Like look at the feet. Oh yeah, the feet, feet are look like really cool. I think our little triangles. I do like his 
face, and I like how they put the most like polygons into his face, <laughs> so like you could see. He's like, just running in place, and we're just staring at him. Oh, you see the spine? It like bends. Yes, when, it bends oh, when whoa. he. It like kind of folds back when he steps. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, let's ignore this bug out, dude. That's the first <laughs> issue with this game: is that Arahi <laughs> died, and he wouldn't, and he wasn't dead, which is completely but, acceptable. Mean, when you compare that to Master Power, exactly. It's yeah, <laughs> it, you can, completely acceptable. Oh, hey, why is this not open? Uh-oh. Oh, it does say he's still there. Oh, Whoa. can I actually... Oh, no, okay, it's, it drained my health when I wanted it. So at least you can, like, uh, be in the oh, water. Secret. Oh, secret. oh, there's a thing. Let me just jump off here and then grab it. If it kills... Oh, what the... What the... Nope, it kills you. Well, first problem with the game. Uh, okay. we may have to, to reload this level. Yeah, let's... I'm gonna exit the map and then we can go. So... HNL says you could put the bottom screen on the left and the top screen on the right, which is, yeah. Yeah, actually, really they see the bottom screen, so. Window size. Maybe there's a way to have, rotation. like, the small screen in the corner, like a, like a YouTuber's face cam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, and there's the there's like the filter. Video setting. There's the filter. So now I can oh. I can change it to make it look a bit better. Uh, let's for now let's go for the uh, horizontal. Nightman asks, how do I rotate text in MS Paint? Oh, that looks much better. That does look pretty good. Oh, and it's also much oh, closer, yeah. so I can I can see. Stuff. Honestly, that does look it does look a lot better. But we don't have to get all the secrets because. Well, yeah, but we're starting to level over basically, so I need to get all the. Hope this game does not end up disappointing. Yeah, me too. I really do hope that this is like good all the way through. Please don't be running again. No, he's just very slowly running around. I'm back. Hello. Oh, whoa, Hello. whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Did you whoa. see that? He was hovering. I'm... Oh, I'm dead. I've been talking and you guys haven't been hearing me, so oh, I feel like oh. my mic goes off. But hey, I'm back now. Oh, right. Yeah, the um uh, the Rakshi hover. Asked, what is the most useless mask? And we have the answer to this because it has been the bane of our existence at Team Kanohi. Uh that is the Rao, mask of translation. Like well, it's what? Debatable what? from the what? Rao to the Cow Cow. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, hold the on. The Cow Cow is Monta. Oh that no that's where I useful. Is that where I die? Oh the number change. You got you got like an upgrade or something. So I got like an upgrade to this. Interesting. Okay, so it's got the You're same level sort of now. the same sort of thing as like... as the other game, but yeah. So like yeah. I'm, I'm level two of of Kongu. That's really there. interesting. You got the level two by getting Matao's mask. Yeah, it's like. It PC heroes, where your different weapon upgrades are the Mata, the Metru, then the Nika. You start yeah. as don't don't go over that again. So you're gonna die. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm fine. Just don't, don't worry. You need, you're to, gonna you need to be full health. Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Finnegar, the Rao would be cool in real life, but Bionicle isn't real life. It's it's called. They Google don't really translate. have any need to translate with anything. The only thing they need to do is talk is. to animals, and there's already a specific mask for that. Yeah. There's also one that just you can just control animals like yeah rocky control yeah Mind control. It, it's the most yeah. useless mask basically yeah there's a lot of overlap in bionicle and that one is the one that just sort of gets overlapped on top of oh whoa. green rashi easily hurt me he be dead finnegar that is a good point what about door code true yeah oh oh it's this chain this is a chain code. lightning now like just like the gba oh, game wait that that's neat I wonder what that claw thing is supposed to even be that you're shooting. Um, like some sort of lightning gun. I don't know. <laughs> very, very observant. It shoots lightning. <laughs> lightning gun. You know. HNL says, uh, in response to some. Oh, bio see, fans they're hovering at me. <laughs> in response to some bio fans' useless mask question, uh, HNL says the mask of undeath. That. What does that one do? Uh, Kills you or doesn't kill you? I don't know. Undies you. The, was it the mask of undeath or the mask of death? One of them makes you a zombie, <laughs> and that's what the the Paraka used to control some of the Matorans. Oh, whoa, yeah. Zavaki, he says, is massive. Whoa. Kaylee says, boy, this isn't the G GBA game. Yes, yeah. uh, we, we finished the GBA game and now we're playing the DS version. And this is really cool. It's much better. Uh, Histavan says, the Mask of Undeath feeds off your life force, then turns you into a zombie when you die. Your body is forced to carry out whatever task it had left to do. That doesn't sound like one you'd want to wear. No. <laughs> it's not necessarily useless, though, if you give it to someone you want to turn into a zombie, so... <laughs> like, you have to convince them to... Did you just switch the side? Uh, apparently so. Yeah, my mute button yeah. Uh, switches the sides. <laughs> oh. Huh. Strange. 
Let's check our extras, see what we have two A's, one K, and one E. Is there anything we can make with that? <laughs> <laughs> Climb to Climb. the summit of the fortress tower and face Zactan. Zactan. Let's get your beekeeper out for an outfit. <laughs> Oh yeah. So like uh, something I can get rid of this with? This might be like a, you need to come back as a different pillow later. Yeah, type thing. I feel like there's a couple of those so far. Some biofan asks a really neat question. What do you like most about being on the Team Kanohi team? Well, oh, I've always wanted to make a Bionicle game. Mm -hmm. uh, I've I've loved to get video games my whole life, and I've always wanted to be a game developer. And and so when Bionicle came around, I was just like, holy cow, this stuff would make a awesome video game. One day I just started to make a video game for Bionicle. And then I was like, you know what? Has anyone else done this already? I looked it up, I found Team Kanohi. And I was like, oh, well, we're making basically the same game. No point in both of us doing it. Why not just join them? <laughs> I like it because I get to make the mm -hmm. game I've always wanted to make. Box Turret, who's one of our uh, our modelers, the health plan? <laughs> <laughs> the dental. <laughs> I, I know for me, it's just being able to like, contribute to like a really cool like bountiful game and just able to because it's a good I, I really enjoy our game and yeah. just being able to i guess be a part of making it is really is it, it's it, it's a good thing i like it third part there you go i don't know i don't know because um <laughs> that's a bit of a complicated question for me considering i'm i like sort of founded the team it, it's like asking um what's your favorite part about this art that you made it's like i i don't know i made the art so all of it oh i can gold mode right now let's go oh get him Mr. Van asks, what's your favorite Rahi? That's a good question. It's also a very complicated question because it's like there's so yeah, many. That, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a hard one. Um, there's so much more. I mean, stuff you, the Fiku is so great. Like, you, you can't get cuter than the Fiku. So that's a, that's a good answer. I like the Nui Rama. They, like, mm. they fly yeah. and they yeah, yeah. eyes. Uh, I think my favorite uh, Rahi is the mountain. <laughs> The mountain? Yep. The living mountain that eats people. Yep. Huh? <laughs> it's, a, it's, just, huh? <laughs> it's a lore. It's a lore. <laughs> yeah, boy. It was 2005, I think, was first mentioned. And then it was given some backstory in 08. It's and just it's a mountain. A, yeah. It's, it's just a mountain. That it's eats a people really that try cool, to climb it. just piece of lore. Okay. And it was in Metronui, oh. right? It was on whatever island Wadaka was from. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, Boxster says Rodaka species lives near a mountain that eats people. Yeah, yeah. It's, that, it's that mountain. Oh, wow. Going by the Rahi that I know, I've always wanted a set of that uh, that one ultimate monster creature from uh, the Rahi book. I forget its name, Which, but it, it's, it's like in an internal Rahi. battle with the Kraka Rahi. The Kraka? The Tatarak? The Kraka the, or the, the Kraka? One, the Rahi. Uh, the Rahi Kraka. Right. Kraka. Oh. Your Mata Nui rank. Oh yeah, that... see, I did. I said it. Predicted it. HNL says, oh yeah, the mountain was Mutran's literal pet rock. Yep. Kaylee says, the Kreka, Krika, Kreka, Krika, or Kraka. <laughs> Which one? Don't, don't, not to be confused right. with Makuta Krika. Enough confusing lore. I'm actually invested in this game. Yeah, me too. Oh. Sky Fortress. Whoa. Defeat so Zaktan, the snake. I like how they include that. <laughs> the Recover the air, air mask of Kongu. I'm already playing Kongu. I guess I'm playing as playing Matau, as... I guess. You're sure. Playing, you're playing as White Jawler cosplaying as... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, Still you're same... playing as a member of Krika yeah. species. Uh oh. Oh, whoa. Music change. Music. I'm very worried. Oh, no. Oh, there shoot. he is. There he is. There's he's the bees. Get him. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, no. Here he comes. Oh, my oh, God. He's, he's massive. Jump <laughs> oh, my oh, God. He is terrifying. Oh, whoa. This is a way cooler boss fight ah. than the PC version. Yeah. If, oh, my God. If the Paraka were this big in, like, reality, this would be a terrifying thing, and I'm done. It would be absolutely oh, terrifying God. if they were this big in the actual, like, in the lore. Look at that! I'm kind of glad. I'm 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 good with that decision. See, he's bees now. Oh, oh, oh! He's bees. They did the he's bees thing. 
they did the bees. bees thing. They did it. They that did the thing. So He's actually cool. bees. This is that the is first so game cool. for them to do bees. Oh, he, he teleported. Oh. That's like his invincible <laughs> invincibility stage. He's entered his bees mode. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, okay, I love this game now. It both disregards the lore with like the opening oh, no, thing, shooting. but then making bees. It's I think oh, the, bees, the bees thing, I think that proves that this is just the best version of my uncle heroes. Yep. Honestly, yeah. There's something about the, the like that heroes model on the DS was like slightly lower poly that looks really nice, honestly. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. One okay. more time. Get him. Get him. Come here, bees. Oh, no, he's bees now. Shoot. He, is he just going to be there for the entirety of your hero? <laughs> that suck. Come on, man. Move. There he is. He, yeah, pretty Dang much. Uh, he's like, oh, he did it. I did it. Uh, oh. Oh, and I have the similar animations like in the thing. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, there, there he is. is. Oh, level three. They're level three. When Ooh. the wearer of the air toa mask uses slow fall, they can get too hard to air to read. Oh, so it's like there's a levitation thing. So that's what that's, all those very far away things were. That's so really that's cool. That's amazing. I kind of want to keep playing. I mean, we hit, we hit the two hour mark. The two hour mark though. What do you what do you what do you think, Des? I could do another hour. Yeah. I'm, I'm, this this game is a lot more interesting than the other games thus far. Even even though I love the GBA game. It's, this is uh this is this is quite good it's a lot better than i thought it was gonna be honestly some bio fan asks do you guys have self mocks sort of yeah um some of us do. yeah i've got my uh rp character from the the rp server that's basically what i've sort of been using as my like self mock he's just a matoran uh, a tom matoran with a a gray body and a red owl basically this is nothing special really but uh he's basically who i use when i need a bionicle representation of myself We're talking about our self mocks do you Mark will have a self mock, or do you just? Use I mean, it's mostly probably it would be the Lumina Limitorn guy that's in my profile picture. Yeah, I don't really have a proper self mock. The, the amphibian mock from the contest will end up in B mock. I think it's referring to Jokul your mock from the mock contest we did. It's a little, it's, it's a little safe. complex for uh, at least for Legacy. Yeah, it definitely won't be in Legacy. I mean, There's do you still have that built? Jokul? I don't, I don't have it built, but we can look at the pictures. There's a chance that it will be in. There's a chance B -Mock. it'll turn up. We want to do all the like canon Rahi first, so yeah. So we're adding. Can you do these levels in any order? Yeah, you can. A back. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, hold on. He's got like horns. That's a very early yeah. Promara sort of thing, right there. Oh yeah. A buried realm made of ancient machinery made entirely of Lego pieces. <laughs> Yeah. Lives beneath Guarnieri. Some areas of the region revolve to open up even more underground chambers, chambers including the air of the Earth Paraka. Radak. Radak. Oh, the music, oh. the atmosphere. It's really chaining the, the lightning now. Yeah, that's a. It's a weird hit effect, though. It's like a butterfly. <laughs> So, some biofan says the mention of Lego parts implies that Lego is a company in the DSR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So wait, does that mean Lego is canon in Bionicle? In, in this lore, because remember this is... Yeah, uh, yeah true. This is a different white lore. Jaller. Was White Mask of White Jaller? you have been an Operatorian? No, because then Tella. he would turn into a Toe of Light, so it doesn't really make sense. Me Jokul, I just sent something in the stream chat showing the brown Paraka with horns, sort of it. Uh, tusks like that. I think that was just kind of his icon in general. So it looks like an early prototype that Avac had him like with tusks. The horns, yeah. And then they decided to fill that out like with a, with like a, Which a chin. Which I would have preferred the uh, the horns. Yeah, to the chin. <laughs> yeah, it looks weird. This is one of those games where I'm like, afterward I'm going to be like, ah, oh, dang, I, 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 I'm so annoyed I can't play this until next stream, you know? I'll look this right, right. right. Oh, there's a, a Pakari. Very oh, weird looking we Pakari, go. but. Oh. Oh, oh, oh whoa, looks, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Is it oh, a charged one? It's a, okay. like a shotgun. You, that should be it's an a area place. of effect or something. Well, yeah, it's like a it's a charged shotgun sort of thing. It's not bad, although I do prefer the chain lightning. It's a little bit weak on the, re on the, the reaction, because it's just sort of like... Meh. 
It now suggests another explanation for the, the mysterious neutral Toa. Uh, it could be Joven, even though he's canonically dead. Mm. Well, maybe maybe well, he's wearing a mask of undeath. Calling him neutral Toa is it's too many syllables. We need, to, <laughs> we need another name. NT. 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 I like NT. Entity. Asks, what element is your favorite? Oh, that's pretty good too. Entity. What elements is your fa uh, least favorite and most favorite? My yeah, favorite is probably fire. <laughs> I don't know oh, why. Nepar. <laughs> Look at that. He's oh, I, yeah, I don't Nibar. know why fire is my favorite. It just sort of is the red one. Oh, and it's not. It's not even because he's red. It's just fire. I like fire. Uh, Metal station. Explore the underground explore. chambers. <laughs> they, right, they didn't put up. much. Didn't put much effort in that one. I think my favorite's probably uh, like iron. So that's a really cool one. The shotgun is very, very weak. I mean, compared to Kongu right now, neutral to yeah. I like. I like so on the right where it's like. His thing almost looks like Matoro's mask, but it's it's like it's the not. right one looks like Matoro's. And then the left one looks like Kangu, but with the orange eyes. It's Who weird. Is this? Who, is this guy? Who is this man? And oh, I kind of like the mystery at, actually. The Nuparu one. I want to look at his mask. That looks. Mm. Oh, that. He looks so cool. So cool. <laughs> this game looks so cool. Yeah. See, so it's like hold down the shoot no, button. No, you just have to wait for like the thing to charge back up to oh, do maximum that. damage. I mean, you don't have to, mm -hmm. but it does less damage. If you don't. Ah, okay. And also, it's it's terrible if you miss it. And then watch Kongu. He's like, Pap. Yeah. Why did they give you the most powerful Toa first? <laughs> oh, his, like, his head comes off and then he, like, reattaches it. Because he's like, oh, my, I don't want to want my chrono to fall out. You see that? That's, that's neat. Also, the best, cool. best thing about Kongu's weapon is that it kills stuff that's behind me. When, when in this kind of game, you know, that's very important. Because, you know, it's it's hard to see stuff because you have to turn around. It takes a long time. Oh, also, remember the uh, the floating. What was the, was How do like you do certain it? Instructions? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. There you go. You just press it and that jumps in. Is that the same button for building the mutual tower? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Sorry, with Entity. Entity? Right. Yeah, that's what we're calling him now. That's what we're calling him. Alright. Because he's neutral, he's NT, he's Entity. Uh, yeah, neutral Toa, NT. I see. So, some biofan asks, how many good guys do you own? I own none, none proudly. I own I, none, sadly. I have only one, just because I'm pretty sure I only have one pair of black uh, Borok feet. The soundtrack is so I good. Have lot, I like this music, yeah. I was thinking yeah. the same thing. Nightman says, just got back. Why the gun make four leaf clothes? over now uh because, because i upgraded, upgraded it. it yeah i got the last mask so it does a lot of uh chaining whoa, whoa. i think that's a cane rod <laughs> he's very yeah. squished that's a okay. very squishy look at that i think mask. we should i think we should back out and do the first level of each region um mm, okay yeah so that we can unlock each toa and Another then we have territory. an option of what guns to use so let's do into the inferno or into inferno mm -hmm. a huge and angry volcano rages at the center of voyanui it is honeycombed by tunnels where protodermis was once mined in its fiery volcanic core the fire paraka hakan is well prepared to scorch intruders that freaking thing that freaking uh it's so good <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like Wait, look at that um, look at the, lava, the lava fall to your right. It's like a, a how with like a claw underneath yeah. it. That's pretty cool. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, go back to that. I want to I wanna take a screenshot of that so that we can maybe put one into uh, 2.0. Okay, in 2.0, maybe keep an eye out for that if it uh, shows up. Oh, it looks like mm -hmm. a... Wait, can you? Looks like a... Nope. Okay. I was going to say, looks like a job <laughs> for Kongu here. No. Is that it's not. Wait, there's a, um, a, a golden gear secret. Where? In the middle. Like, you're, no, look, look you're looking everywhere but where <laughs> it is. Stop. What? It's not oh, there, oh. there anymore. No, it's it right was, there. Oh, see? There. There. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I see how to get to that. It. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I think that gives you, like, a lot of uh, stuff, but it also gives you instant cold mode. Pretty sure that's yeah, what that is. Like... And we've again yeah, run out of things to talk about. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to join. Yeah. Uh, I'm enjoying looking at this. It's, it's cool. <laughs> Interesting how you get the the rocks you were bosses in the uh, Bionicle, yeah, uh, yeah. and here PC heroes and be in PC hmm. heroes even. Oh yeah. But this sure. one like the the rock here like your mini bosses in a way. And in uh, 
And in the GBA version, the uh, Borok Queens were the mini boss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hits to man in the chat. Considering making a fan game of my own for a different franchise, is there any advice you might have? Do not, uh, do not release dates. Yeah. Like, don't. so we, we sort of have a policy where we don't announce something now unless we know we can deliver on it. Because a few times in the past, we have announced things and they the product that we've been able to achieve by the that date is not the best but we we decided to release anyway because we didn't because we said we would release on that day so yeah always have we, a, if you want to do a, a release date make it internal until like this last second mm -hmm. yeah yeah so we we do have we do have internal uh like milestone dates that we we try and hit to the best of our ability um so Wait, it's, on, it's not to say you don't have goals at all, but but oh. just don't don't release to your fans what days things are coming out because you might not be able to no. make it to that day. What? Uh, yeah, I would give the advice: um, make proper, full-on, hardcore documentation before you make anything. Like, right? Seriously, write stuff down exactly as you plan to do it. Um, yeah. How do I get under here? Can you? Can you is there no uh, crash button? There's no crash button. No crash button. No. Maybe you had to get jump down before that. Oh no! Oh. I pressed hero mode. <laughs> Dang it. Dang. <laughs> Going off of yeah. what uh, Joe Cole just there said about that, it there oh. is a certain. Yeah. <laughs> <there's>, <laughs> Sorry, okay. There is a certain level of experimentation you have to do in the beginning of making a game, but writing things down is is really helpful, uh, yeah. especially to narrow down your scope. Because this is this is important for any game project, not just fan games. So get, making sure that you have the right scope for the game project is also really yeah. important. We've gotten really ambitious with uh, Massive Power, but we also have the team that that can back that up. So, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and, and also we know not to um, like seriously do not feature creep as best you possibly can like yes. write everything down oh, yes. make sure you know where the line is so that you can't so like so you say oh wouldn't it be cool to add this and then you say yeah but do we need that though will yeah, that exactly will that elevate the product will that elevate the product or will it just delay our timing and not add all that much to it um an interesting sort of thing. thing this island model is the same as the gba one where it's inverted so like the outside is high up and the volcano is really oh, low down yeah. also whenever i click glacial peak there's a little bit of a visual yeah, glitch here <laughs> also all those final end poses mm -hmm. of like whenever you complete a level I, for one of the stream highlights i'm going to compile those into like a boy band cover and put that as the <laughs> thumbnail because <laughs> it, it looks like it <laughs> right yeah <laughs> Um, are you sure that it's not supposed to be like that? I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like it's wrong because volcanoes volcano. shouldn't like be low down. Yeah, I actually really, I actually really do like the idea of it being lip like that, to where the outside yeah. is like really high up and the inside especially is down. With a, but especially with such a, a bizarre place like Voyanui, it makes it it turns it on its head literally. And it, yeah, I do like the idea place. of like the glaciers at the like the ice ring being yeah. really high up. I always imagine it as being kind of down low, but I like that. I idea. think it works. I think. I think it works pretty well. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, below zero. Here we go. Voyanui is surrounded by a thick ring of ice. Those brave enough to travel its frozen surface will come to the Arctic outpost. They will receive a chilly welcome as they face the ice baraka thok. You see on uh, Histvan also asks about how copyright should be handled and if it, he would to contact the copyright holders first. Uh, depending on how high profile of a company the, the yeah. thing you're making a fan game for is, they might have some sort of thing in the books already for this sort of thing mm -hmm. make sure to consult like, example the with with bionicle lego has a fan game policy yes they have a fair we, use like uh yeah, policy yeah. for any sort of fan creation so we don't need to get in direct contact with lego because we can just follow their fair use policy so depending on the company you might just be able to look for something yeah. like that if you're doing a fan game about a disney or a nintendo product give up don't do it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're game, screwed if you do that <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't don't ask for permission. Uh, don't ask for forgiveness. Uh, don't release it until it's done. <laughs> that's that's for yeah, some, if your company it's... is uh, is like very protective of yeah. their copyrights. If a company is big like that no, and they I'm have just... a history of canceling uh, fan it. projects, it is best to avoid even getting in that area. But I can I can certainly understand wanting to build a fan game out of uh, a product, an IP that you like. So let's go! Come on! I I hope that answers your question. Ooh, uh, wait, there's... Histo Histovan. Oh, there's like there's like smoke coming out of it. Look, I like that. 
little events with the sniper rifle. It doesn't do that much damage, but I would assume it would once like it's upgraded. And his head went on backwards. Uh, Agent Alice brings up another problem with having a volcano on Voya Nui, and that is uh, it's a tiny island on an umbilical cord. So, hmm. yeah, it doesn't really have a connection to the, the anything. I, I would assume the that's... I would assume the cord produces the lava. Because in the little mini game, Except when you shoot it, there's it love inside. Because well, no, because they travel through the court at one point. They do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, that's how the, the you know you know that that trailer with the Mari coming down in the centipede vehicle. Yeah, that's through the core. Really? I yeah. thought I always really? thought that was outside. Just like no. Okay. I know that they travel through the core at some point. I no, I, think, I think I think the core fills with lava, and that's oh, why it might. I think that like when Voyanui broke off from the southern continent, it like took some lava with it. Right. It was a, a significant chunk of lava, enough that the Paraka needed to drain the lava. Right. That was oh, that thing. is true. They they were draining the lava. That's right. Oh. HNLs points out that Voyanui has no tectonics. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, a good point. And, and in fact, uh, most of the islands don't really have tectonics because they're the product of a of a camouflage system, well you so. can say the tectonics are like the gsr's face so right right <laughs> HNLS asks, so how bad is Matoro's weapon in this game? It was garbage um, on PC. At the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what a pose. <laughs> Give him like a microphone okay. that's set to be too tall for him. Yeah. And then yeah. Bam. I think I want to complete this level just to upgrade his weapon. Yeah. Okay. Winter Trek passage. Toward. Trek towards the Arctic outpost. Right but, now, Matoro seems just like a worse version of a Kangoo's. It yeah, it is. Histavan says, good news, they have a licensing department. Uh, Histavan, I know you might not want to, like, say things just to temper hype, but uh, what what uh, kind of fan game are you making? What uh, what fandom is it? I, I'm, I, you've, you've got me curious now, so. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. That was dramatic. It's a trap. The, the, the guys Ooh. who did the GBA and, and DS games, they really like doing traps. <laughs> yeah. PC1, not so much, but. Okay, Histavan it? says it's a Warhammer 40k. Ah. Oh. Fan game. Huh. That Warhammer 40k yeah, is actually I very. Look at the licensing department. Yeah, they're very open to stuff, and I'm pretty sure if you approach them about it, they will actually uh, let you buy a license from them to make a game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because like, they a ton of companies have made Warhammer 40k games. I'm not entirely yeah, sure you, how you it works. You might actually look yeah. into that Histavan, and you could actually uh, make some money off of it yeah, then. And make an official Warhammer 40k game. Although that is a lot of pressure, and there's probably yeah. some like regulations and stuff with that. But uh, I guess this is a trap. Yep. yep. Yeah. And a little laggy trap. It's slow motion. <laughs> It's like uh, just, just this event. If I could make one request for that, uh, make Necrons playable. <laughs> I, uh, Necrons are my uh, my my army. So this freaking music is bopping. It is. Ooh. And a little weird. It's great. It almost feels inappropriate for this level, but it's like, it's too bopping to, to say anything against it. Right. It's really interesting to see how both similar and different this is to the, uh, the main version of Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. They did the same thing where did you uh, where you pick up the one thing and it, it, it screws the trap. Um, oh, it's the trap. The trap, yeah. The trap gear, yeah. Wow. <laughs> see, that's why this weapon is fantastic. This Alright, looks like this is the end. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> These levels are kind of short. I like it. He looks so proud. Matoro looks yeah. so proud. Of himself. He's like, ah, I've done it. Oh, these are gonna look so so good combined mm -hmm. into boy band poster. So we've gone an extra hour at this point. Oh, it so is. I wonder if I can hour. complete this next level in ten minutes. Escape I mean... through, escape through the merciless, chill, and fight through the ice caverns to reach the edges of the outpost. Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> what would an Anika boy band be called? Some bio fan asks. Maybe the Anika. I don't know. The Paraka rap group and the Anika Probably. band sound like it would be a nice, <laughs> uh, a nice battle. <laughs> Opposing forces. Are the Anika the All American Region? Oh, that's the that's uh, a real twist. That's the real twist that that they I, I uh, hired them for the Anika's voice actors. <laughs> they were the band that you needed to free all along. <laughs> right. They freed themselves. There's a metaphor. Yeah, they make such weird noises. You hear that? The little, oh. They do, yeah. I kind of wish that we got something similar to this instead of the actual heroes. Yeah. At least gameplay-wise, because... This on PC would have been much better. All Matanui rejects. <laughs> Thank you, Nightman. <laughs> Hello. 
you. Hello. You he just pointed at you? us. He pointed at me. He was like, you come here. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's Nuja's mask. Okay. Level two. What do you do? More oh, damage? Yeah, faster? quite a bit more damage, and it doesn't take oh, as it much damage. Oh, it slows them or something. Oh, yeah. It looks like it freezes them a little bit. Yeah, see? It freezes them. That's actually really oh, cool. That's, that's neat. It makes a cool sound. Histovan says, I, I, R, C, Korak, like to fight one on one. If I recall so Pointing to you and a challenge was accurate. Huh. It's interesting to me how you've got the, um, the models for the, all the Mata and the Metru masks, and the ones for the Anika masks are all from Heroes. So it makes me wonder if at one point they had planned for the Mata and Metru masks to appear in the normal Heroes, huh. and they just used those models for the DS one. Perhaps. This game is but good. This is, honestly. Oh, hey, you did that in I perfect did. timing. I yeah. did. Perfect <laughs> that's, timing. That's, that's impressive. So Can't spell me. take. <laughs> Because it's like Scrabble. Do you have an O? Uh, you I don't. don't have an O. I, I'm, I'm gonna bet human voices like somebody going, Ugh. <laughs> I, I, that, I can bet that from TT Games. Alright, well, um... Oh my, that's a... Look at the fuck. He's that's like... an awesome render there. This game's so good. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I don't think any of us expected it to be this cool. So, um, next week we'll probably be playing more of this, potentially with some uh, other stuff coming as well. We'll see. Until then, then, I've been Desalius. I have been Markle, and I have been Joker One Through One. And may the great spirit guide you. Guide you.